Where's Jake at? Fucker. <laughs> Jake! Now I gotta wash my hands because you videoed that. and lifts and how can I get them to stop lifting like shit. This morning. Bench warmers, we gotta get a 20 ounce red eye. That's 20 ounces of Ethiopian high caffeine coffee with two shots of espresso to freaking get your get your ass out of bed and get rolling. He's just shaking his head. Well Alyssa Richie was just sitting here vlogging the other day. I wanted to bring a vlogger in for you. Okay. Is that gonna be a early morning for a while or is it uh, probably till I gotta see what they want me to do next week, actually. Alright. I'll see it. See so it. we had one practice in an hour and a half. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to Burke's Catholic's morning football training, which starts at 6.30. So we're gonna do like uh, 45 minutes worth of plyos. Then we start to lift. This week their lift is a little bit lighter, and there should be like 60, 65 kids. They've uh, they've been like top five in the state of Pennsylvania for about four years now. So they're pretty motivated, pretty good group of good group of meatheads. So it should be fun, especially now that I have the caffeine in me. Burke's Catholic High School. stuff and like sprints in here and then they're gonna they're gonna lift after this so we should be able to get a decent amount of shit. Get off your tired shit! Let's <laughs> fucking go! Work on three, work on three, one, two, three! Work. Agility stuff over there, sprint stuff there and steps in the corner. Go away Anthony! Nobody's here watching you. But you came closer to winning a championship today because of how hard you're working in here. Payday's going to be here shortly. Football, the games are going to start shortly. And you're going to be ready. Like I said, told you yesterday, we have 11 guys out there on offense. We have 11 guys out there on defense. We have 11 guys out there on every special team. And who is it that's going to step up and make a big play for us? Okay, on every one of those teams. And my bet is, like I told you yesterday, it's going to be somebody different every week. There's going to be the mainstays, okay? But every dog has his day, right? And when you're going to step up and shine and really help this team become better. And every one of you can do that. Because we're only as strong as our weakest player, right? And we're getting stronger. Where are we off to now? The weight room. Time to smash some weights. I think they'll do light. Bearded legend. They'll do like light platform stuff, and then they're gonna do a heavy, heavy front squat, hopefully.
have to do anything because they're all motivated. They, you know, every once in a while, I lose my mind. I'll make Nico cry. I was laughing at you. The weakest kid on the field for BC would be probably the strongest kid on most other teams. If, if not, like, on every single team they play, except for when they get to the state playoffs. So we're heading back to Garage Strang, to the gym, and I got a Earth Fed Muscle meeting at 9 a.m., so we're gonna be doing, get back, I'm gonna do a little bit of work, we got about 10 minutes before the meeting starts, then the meeting starts at 9, I'll have the meeting probably from 9 till 10 a.m., and then uh, 10 a.m. is when we're gonna have the throwers. Sanderson, I'm like, what the heck is Sanderson doing in here? What you doing, Jason? He's vlogging for a little bit. He won't be in here for the meeting. Right. A day in the life of? Yeah. Fearless leader returns. a minimal amount of athletes in here, but I have no program. I just come in and do whatever the hell I want to do. The biggest thing for me is that one, I I want to be in shape and I want to look healthy and I want to be healthy. And if I can sit here and be strong and or be somewhat healthy and be somewhat fit, I'm a good example. But the other thing is all these coaches will say, oh, well, I'm so busy. Well, I got this, I got that. And then they come up with as many excuses to be fat slobs as possible. But it's like, Dude, if you can't hold yourself accountable to make the time to train, then why are your athletes gonna do that? You know, why are why are your kids gonna do that? Why are your fitness clients gonna do that? They'll come up with as many excuses as you. So what I'll do is I'll sit here and say, okay, 30 minutes, clock starts now. I got 30 minutes to smash myself, get as, as yoked up in 30 minutes as possible. And if I have extra time at the end, then I get an extra 15 to 20 minutes, but then there's no excuse. The piggies will be butchered. Uh, the two big ones will be butchered in the fall. The little one will be butchered probably in like November. So that's all organic grain raised within 10 miles of our house from a place called Panorama Feeds. So it's pigs raised out on pasture so they have full access to walnuts, Hickory nuts, worms, birds, grass, everything. You can see they root around a bit. They like to bathe down here in the mud. Uh, they've got two water access, two access areas for water, plenty of shade. And then the geese, the ducks, and the chickens. Um, the geese, those three geese will be like herd protectors. Um, the ducks will be layers. The ones that aren't, the layers will be, will butcher. And then we're gonna get a whole bunch of, and then with the chickens are layer hens. Then we're gonna get a round of 15 geese that we're gonna raise across the field and the, and the other pasture across the field. So there'll be 15 geese that we'll raise for as Christmas birds. Back to training for the afternoon. Feed the animals, feed the kids who are also animals. Now we're heading back to the gym for afternoon throws and uh, Olympic weightlifting session. In the afternoons it'll be like technical movements to warm up, to really imprint a strong movement. And then as they really wake up and, and start to feel good, that's when they start to smash it with distances.
thinking about is if everybody would learn how to prioritize their technique, life would be easier. I'm trying to think of a Ronnie Coleman saying, you know, when he's like, everyone wants to be big, but no one wants to lift heavy ass weight. For weightlifting, it's everyone wants to be good, but no one wants to fucking move properly. <laughs> Sweeping up circles and setting up blocks. My life. Hashtag underappreciated coach. 100%. That's my problem. This is why I'm here too late every fucking night. I'm in the gym from 6 in the morning until fucking 7.30 at night because I stay here because of people like him who I think I'll sit there and be like, well, Evan's going to be the next big thing. Evan could, be, Evan could be the next great American super heavyweight. And in my head, I can turn him into the next super heavyweight. And I'll put all this time and effort into it. But will Evan give me that time and effort back? Probably not. Hopefully he does. I didn't let us touch it. So after a long day, we're looking at what, 7.15? Yeah. Currently working on a 14 hour day, but day's not finished for you yet, is it? No, but I need to figure out a way that I can prevent this from happening. Being more organized, maybe controlling the athletes more. Saying no to parents. <laughs> Saying no to parents and <laughs> finding some way to spend more time with my family is yeah. my priority right now. So I'm hoping that some of the stuff we're doing in the business is going to help change that. And I'm hoping that some of the work that I'm doing right now helps to change that too. So we'll see. We'll see, but nothing beats coming home to the boys. Thanks, bud. So what do you do when you first get home? Sanderson, what do you want me to do? Jump. Jump on what? The trampoline. Jump on what? The trampoline! Alright. Then jump it, Wait, jump you it, can't jump, jump to us. Yeah, film it. Safety first, kid. <laughs> Get on, Sanderson. <laughs> <laughs>